are well. I just finished getting ready for the day and I'm excited to spend time together. My friend Janeshka is actually on her way and she's bringing her dog Myla and we are gonna have a puppy play date this morning to kick off the day. And then she's actually never been to Trader Joe's before. Can you believe it? So we are going to take a field trip over to Trader Joe's so I can show her and open her eyes to all the yummy food and fun so we'll do some shopping there and I'm also going to ask her if she'd be open to going to some plant shops as well because I saw this inspiration photo I'll show you I'll insert a picture but it's this beautiful spherical pot or planter and then it has this gorgeous palm in the planter and I love the look of that I think it would look really beautiful in our living room but then in because okay I need to just share my thoughts about this because when it comes to home decor, I love to keep it sort of, I mean, simple, I guess you could say, but then in the fall and winter, I really decorate for autumn and Christmas, and that's just one of my favorite things to do, as you may know. It is just a happy time when we get to decorate for the seasons, but then spring and summer, we kind of keep it, you know, more, more relaxed, like I don't really add much additional decor so right now i feel like it just feels like something's missing but in a couple months we'll be decorating for autumn and then i won't need to like fill the gap as much if that makes sense with decorating so those are my thoughts but i love this idea and i think it would be really beautiful in our backyard as well so in the fall and winter we could put it outside and then in the spring and summer we could put it inside I don't know those are my thoughts so we may just go around and it's fun to go to nurseries anyways I, I always find it really inspiring and calming to stroll around a nursery and check everything out so we'll see we'll see what we feel like but I thought that would be fun and I also okay so yesterday I already went grocery shopping this week so at Trader Joe's I don't really need to get like regular produce and groceries but we'll just go for the fun stuff and for the activity of it all but when I was, I actually went to Aldi and I got these pine berries. I've seen people try them before, but I'm so curious. They're absolutely adorable. This beautiful little pink color, pink hue. Brandon actually tried one last night and he said that they are good. He said it was kind of like a watered down strawberry though. Like it was really pleasant and yummy, but it wasn't anything, you know, groundbreaking. Oh my goodness, I kind of match with it today. Let's wash it off and give it a try. Let's see. Mmm. That's really good. I like that a lot. To me, it doesn't taste like a watered down strawberry. It tastes like a strawberry, but a little bit different. Almost more tropical, if that makes sense. I actually have regular strawberry, so let's do a side-by-side. -side. Let's see how different they taste. I need something to cleanse my palate. <laughs> okay. The regular strawberries are way more sour. At least this batch of strawberries. It can kind of vary by when they're harvested and stuff. Mm, I like the pine berries. They're really good. They're really good, but also really cute. So extra points for that. <laughs> Pineberry tasted tropical. I just looked it up for the first time and it says pineberry is a white strawberry with red seeds and a pineapple like flavor. There you have it. That's so interesting.
are home from our adventures. It was so fun. We went to a bakery, we went to a plant shop, we went to Trader Joe's. It was just a day, I love it. So let me do a haul, of course. Picked up some flowers. We picked up some peonies and then some chamomile. And I had a bit of a revelation while we were picking out the chamomile because Janeshka pointed out that this is a certain type of chamomile. It's a daisy-like chamomile. And if you remember, if you watched the video where I set up our garden and I planted the flowers, the chamomile, I'm taking a picture because I wanna identify this again, but the chamomile I planted was a different variety. So when it grew, I was a bit surprised at what it looked like because it looked different than that daisy-like chamomile. And it, I don't know, it just was, was totally different than what I was expecting. So I think I'll need to do some more research and plant daisy-like chamomile because I love that variety. So I'm gonna do more research about that. And then I also got this organic corn chip dippers. These are so, so good. We've been snacking on them, so they're already open, being enjoyed. And then I picked up these Saturn peaches. Never had these before, but they're so unique since they're sort of flat. Let me give you a closer look. <laughs> sort of looks like someone just smashed it down. I like how they're called Saturn peaches though because they look like the planet. So we have those. I'll let you know what we think of those. And then some bananas. And then we have some jalapenos. I'm gonna bake a cheddar jalapeno sourdough loaf soon. So that'll be perfect for that. And then some organic half and half for coffee, which it's time for an afternoon cup of coffee. So we'll make that shortly. And then I also picked up this super lemon room spritz. We keep these in the restroom and <laughs> it's great. I actually have a, I usually just get them from Target, but I thought I would try this one. Oh, that's very fresh and lovely. So that's great, and it has spearmint oils. It tastes, it, not tastes, it smells a lot more natural, if that makes sense, not like too perfumey. And then some organic popping corn. I love to make popcorn, so that'll be great. And then we have some apricots and some eggs. And that's it, but it was a great little run to Trader Joe's. And now I'm gonna put everything away, set up our flowers, and then get some work done for the rest of the afternoon. And then later this evening, we have a game night and dinner at our friend Liz and Sean's house. So we'll go to that later this evening. And Palmer, okay, Palmer and Mila. Okay, Palmer was just loving Mila a little too much, if you know what I mean, his testosterone. <laughs> and he just was very energetic. We're still working on kind of teaching him his manners and calming him down. Well, at least I am. When he's with Brandon, he's kind of like little Mr. Perfect, but yeah, with me, <laughs> with me, he goes her. wild. What do you mean by romancing her? Brandon he just, just walked in the kitchen. He was just like lying down and he was actually going around and like sipping her and then looking <laughs> her just like gently. <laughs> but with me, she, Palmer was just like going crazy. It's a contrast for sure. Look at these peaches. Saturn peaches. They donuts? <laughs> they look, look like, like donuts. donuts. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they fun? That is very fun. That's <laughs> interesting. Always can count on Trader Joe's to find something unique. how unreal they are. They look like delicate paper. I just absolutely love it. And then these flowers, I added some of the chamomile into the bunch and some of the branches from the peony, but these flowers we've had for, oh gosh, probably over two weeks now. 
my friend Carly who watched Palmer while we were in Greece, she left them here for us when we got home, which was so, so sweet of her. And they're still hanging in there. I took some of them out, but there's a rose left and these pretty ones and baby's breath, which baby's breath lasts months and months and months and looks really beautiful even once it dries out. zone working on our computer and I'm saying our like Palmer was doing work with me but I just realized it's 5 30 and we're leaving around 6 45 to go to our friends but I still haven't made an afternoon cup of coffee so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make some cold brew <laughs> to mention we did go into a plant shop today and it was lovely as always and there was one of the palms that I'm looking for that I would put over in the living room and but it wasn't the right size it was a little too big especially at the base so I'm still looking I think maybe later this week we'll go and try to find something because I think that would add some really nice height I actually went ahead and moved the monstera that I had over there because I wanted to kind of get a visual and this is where I had the Monstera before last year, but after we put away the Christmas decorations, I thought it looked really empty over there, so I moved to the Monstera, but I missed it over here. I really like it, and I just love the pops of green in every corner, so I'm still going to be on the lookout. Oh, boy, what, is, what are you chewing on, mister? <laughs> He's being cheeky, I can tell. But yeah, I'm gonna keep looking, but I think that would be a nice addition. Also, before we head out, I just thought of this today. I haven't done this in so long, but I want to make some puppy popsicles. I used to do this so often last year, and essentially I ordered these popsicle molds, molds <laughs> that are in little paw print shapes. And one of Palmer's favorite like little snacks, especially during summertime, are these popsicles. So you can do a ton of different flavor varieties, but one of my go-tos is frozen blueberries and yogurt, and it's a great little healthier treat for your pet. days later yesterday so last time I talked it was before our game night with our friends which was so fun we had dinner and games which was so lovely and then the following day was um, an editing day for me so I usually just don't vlog on those days because I'm in the zone on the computer and a not not a lot of other <laughs> 
exciting things are going on. So I didn't vlog yesterday. And now, today, I honestly am feeling a little funky. I'm just feeling like in a mood. So I got ready and did some light makeup and I put on this dress, which this dress is definitely making me feel more like myself. Look at the back has a low back. It's just a summer dream for sure. I'm trying to kind of get out of my my mood a little bit. So I've been baking sourdough. Also, pretty much the dough is all ready to go. Um, it's just resting, doing the bulk formation fermentation right now. And then I'll shape it later tonight and then bake it in the morning. So that's fun. That's exciting. And what else? I was going to go out and run some errands today and get some stuff off the to-do list, but I just really don't want to, I don't feel, I don't feel like it and I don't need to. So we're just going to lay low and it's honestly looking quite cloudy. And my sister-in-law and her babies, my niece, my nieces and nephew are supposed to come over tonight so we can swim and do s'mores in the backyard. So that's really something to look forward to. I'm really looking forward to that. And I don't know why I feel this way. I really don't. I'm just kind of in one of those funky moods where you don't really have an obvious reason. It's probably just like a combination of many different things, but that's where we're at. And on top of that, sweet boy Palmer, he's kind of in a funk too. He's just not acting like himself. This morning he was, but now he's really not. He's acting just super, super sleepy and kind of timid and his tail's down a little bit so that's bumming me out because you know of course you want your your loved ones to feel all happy and healthy so I'm gonna keep an eye on him another reason to stay home I really do love this dress it's actually my first day wearing it and it's something to note if you're on the market and really like this one I love it but it does run large so size down if you plan on getting it. I do like, I don't know, I like how it's just so comfy because it's not constraining me at all, but you definitely have, it's very fabric-y at the bottom and it's more of a heavy fabric. It's hard to explain because it is more of a heavier fabric, but it doesn't feel heavy and like it's weighing me down. It definitely feel, feels flowy and airy and summery, but just some thoughts about the dress. But overall, I really, really enjoy it. Just like that, the rain has started. I do kind of love it when the weather matches my mood though. It just, it just feels right that it's raining right now. <laughs> heat up some of this lentil soup with ancient grains this is my ultimate favorite trader joe's soup i've been getting it since college and it still hits the spot and i'm also going to put some greek yogurt on top of that just for extra extra nutrients and then also some avocado and we'll probably do a side of chips and veggies and celery and brandon said i also should have some more watermelon which i totally agree because it's so good Okay, 
Okay, I'm about to shape my loaf or loaves, I should say. Look at this, it's popping off. Do you see that bubble right there? It's huge. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do, oh, I need to get, okay, I'm so glad we're talking about this. I need to prep my jalapeno and cheese because I really want to bake a jalapeno and cheese loaf. Actually, I think I'm gonna do both of them, jalapeno and cheese, because it's my absolute favorite. So tasty and might as well because I have plenty of jalapeno peppers. Unfortunately, it's about to storm. There's a ton of lightning and thunder and it's coming, a storm's brewing. So we had to postpone our s'mores and pool night, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll get to do that in a couple days. But now I guess we'll just have a cozy movie night, find something fun to watch. My mom just dropped off Jessie, which is her dog. I don't know if you saw her. Palmer's gonna wanna play with her. Palmer, leave her alone. Palmer, Palmer, come. Come here, Palmer. Come here. Good boy. She, poor thing. She wants nothing to do with Palmer, but Palmer wants everything to do with her. And he wants to just play with her, but it's not going to happen, unfortunately, for him. So they need to, you know, keep their space, respect each other's boundaries. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a coffee because I still haven't had my afternoon coffee. And I bought this bottomless porta filter, which I shared in the last vlog that I've been experimenting with it. And I still have not gotten it down. I'm still learning and trying to figure it out, but let's give it another go. I've troubleshooted quite a bit so the one idea I have that may be a factor is that our beans aren't fresh enough they're a little stale because that can play an impact on it but I'm not sure I'm really not sure it's a mystery but I'm determined we're gonna figure this out is rolling in i want to go change to my pjs soon and just get cozy i guess we're just gonna have a cozy night in after all but first we have a small quick home project so i'm in the laundry room right now if you watched the laundry room makeover we did lots and lots of projects to get this room much more functional and add some design elements and we've been loving it it's been really great i still need to stain the wood or i don't I don't know, if, I don't think I'm gonna stain it. I think I'm gonna seal it, seal the wood. I still need to do that. And then a lot of you suggested some kind of wood cover for these two shelves, which I love that idea. I think that will look really sharp. But tonight I'm gonna add in another one of these hooks. I have one of them here, but I'm gonna add another one because we have another one. And I didn't do it when we originally made over this room because I didn't have the proper screws because we need really short screws since the wood isn't super thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that now and we'll have another layer to hang some delicates on. complicated than the first one because yesterday Brandon went to go pick up the screws for it but he didn't find any well they were just the flathead screws which what are the other ones called Phillips Phillips head and the flathead screw was a lot trickier to um, hang upside down so it was a two-man job today but 
now we have some extra room to hang stuff. Okay, we're having a cozy night in. We're watching Shark Tank, eating dinner, and even though our s'mores night got postponed, I'm still gonna make s'mores in the air fryer. Never done this before, but I think I have high hopes. So, how, how do we do this? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the graham crackers in the air fryer. And then I'm also going to put the marshmallows, but I think I just won't put the chocolate in at first or at all. I'll just have the chocolate melt once I take it out. It probably will just be a little melty. We'll see how it goes. got nice and melty. I only roasted it in the air fryer for a couple of minutes, but look at that. Nice and fluffy and warm. You don't have that beautiful burnt outer layer that I like on s'mores, but it'll do. All right, friends, that is going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for spending the last couple of days with me and for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day and a beautiful week and I cannot wait to see you next. Bye. Bye.